The United Engine Corporation has completed work on the AI-222-25 engine import substitution. Previously, this power plant was developed in collaboration with the Ukrainian company Motorsich for the Yak-130 combat training aircraft and its Chinese counterpart, the Hongdu L-15. Aside from replacing Ukrainian components, UEC has developed a new compressor for the engine, which will improve its weight and size characteristics, as well as simplify aircraft engine repair. The first prototype tests conducted at the Enterprise confirmed the design's operability. The gas generator with the new high-pressure compressor performed flawlessly on the test bench. This is a huge success, and it will serve as the foundation for using this node in an upgraded engine. The transition to fully domestic components will increase combat training aircraft production. The Yak-130 can be used as both a pilot simulator and a light attack aircraft. It can carry up to 9 tons of combat load at three external suspension points. In the last three months, this is the second entirely domestic aircraft engine. UEC received a type certificate for the TV-7-117 ST-01 power plant, designed for the new IL-114-300 regional passenger aircraft, at the end of last year. Yakovlev Yak-130 is an advanced pilot training aircraft, able to replicate characteristics of Russian 4th and 5th generation fighters. This is possible through the use of open architecture digital avionics compliant with a 1553 databus, a full digital glass cockpit, 4-channel digital fly-by-wire system and instructor-controlled and variable FBWS handling characteristics and embedded simulation. The type also has a head-up display and a helmet-mounted sighting system, with a double GPS GLONASS receiver, updating an inertial reference system for highly accurate navigation and precision targeting. The developer estimates that the plane can cover up to 80% of the entire pilot flight training program. The Yak-130 carries a modern set of flight control navigation, communications, cockpit instrumentation and other equipment, including a quad-redundant fly-by-wire flight control system, incorporating an active flight safety capability, and a reprogramming capability that makes it possible to modify the stability and controllability characteristics of the aircraft. Combined with flight performance, this equipment gives the Yak-130 high training effectiveness. The Yak-130 is equipped with air-to-air -air missiles, guided air bombs, unguided rockets and bombs, external fuel tanks, gun and U-pods. Maximum combat load carried on its nine hardpoints is 3,000 kg. Typical takeoff speed and distance in a clean configuration are 209 km per hour and 550 meters, whilst landing figures are 191 km per hour and 750 meters, respectively. Crosswind limit is 56 km per hour. The aircraft's twin engines are mounted under extended wing roots which reaches far forward as the windscreen. Two of Chenko Progress AI-222-25 full-authority digital engine control produce a combined total of 49 kN of thrust. AI-222-25 dual-circuit turbojet engine, used in the Russian combat training aircraft Yak-130. The product is equipped with an electronic digital automatic control and monitoring system, The technical characteristics of the power plant allow you to use the Yak-130 not only for training, but also for combat purposes. 
Since 2015, the AI-22-25 has been manufactured entirely from Russian parts and components in Moscow at the Salyut production complex of the United Engine Corporation. The Yak-130 was designed to meet the same Russian Air Force instructional trainer system requirement as the MIGAT. This specified an aircraft with simulators and ground-based training aids, like the US Navy's T-45TS system. The Yak-130 has a less conventional configuration than its MiG competitor, featuring swept wings with winglets. On takeoff, the engines are fed with air by auxiliary overwing air intakes, and by the main intakes, which feature swing down intake doors, much like those fitted to MiG 29 and Su 27. By 2000, partnership between these companies ended with each developing the aircraft independently. The Ermaki went on its own and developed the M346 Master Advanced Trainer, which externally is very similar to the Yak-130. The first Yak-130 trainer entered service with the Russian Air Force in 2009. A contract was signed for a delivery of 12 trainers. Currently the Russian requirement for its new trainer remained vague. Strong interest in the Yak-130 was expressed by Algeria and Slovakia. Algeria ordered some of these aircraft. Deliveries commenced in 2012. The Yak-130 has a light attack capability. It has nine hardpoints for a variety of guns, bombs, missiles and rockets. Yakovlev plans to develop a family of Yak-130 variants. These include a single-seat combat version with seven hardpoints, a hook-carrier-capable aircraft, and a two-seat side-by-side trainer, optimized for training bomber and transport pilots.